Hey you guys, I have a 15 minute mini journey session and this is going to be for a game room, so a business. And so the goals are to connect with a collective of people um, to inspire new clients or customers, some um, new game roomers to come in. Um, there's been sort of some shifts in the way that they've been doing business. And so some people have left because they aren't um, thrilled about the changes, but some new changes are taking place and they're wanting to circle those people back in, um, bring in energetic inspiration. So plant some seeds, okay? Um, so this is absolutely doable. <laughs> um, we're going to ex explore how that is doable. Um, I'm going to relax now and then I'm going to get connected, okay? This is really fun. <laughs> this is really, really fun goals for this session. All right. Okay. I'm just tapping into your game room here, okay? So right now I just see a really pouty face. It's more than pouty though. Like it's kind of angry inside its own heart. And I see it reflecting off of a mirror. And it's like I'm looking in the mirror and my reflection is this pouty face. It's a bathroom. This is all starting to disappear here. It was quite gloomy, like um, being in an actual like public bathroom. There's a sink. There's stalls. Um, so it was like a dark lighting and then looking in the mirror and then the reflection back is just this pouting face um, and this heart and this anger in the heart. And now the lights are starting to turn on. They're not so dim. And then the image is actually starting to erase like chalk from a chalkboard. It's just erasing from the mirror and things are getting brighter. So it feels to me like you have uh, more up your sleeve, um, renovations of some kind, like ways that you are going to be attracting new business. It, it, there's something um, under the surface of what's going on here. It's actually really, really good. It hasn't come full circle yet, okay? I, it's almost like um, rotten apples. You don't want the rotten apples to spoil the barrel, right? So some of these apples have left and it was actually for all the right reasons. Um, they're showing me that a lot of positive energy is being put in place with all the decisions that you're making. So positive energy can repel negative energy. Um, so bringing in positive players um, in a positive environment is actually what you're accomplishing here. <laughs> so um, I don't see this as a as a bad thing. I see that these shifts that are going on, you're wanting to access what would be defined as um, those players who left um, feeling disgruntled about changes, for instance, you don't want them to come back. <laughs> you you need to be okay with them shifting gears, okay? Um, what we can do, though, is continue to create sort of a bright and alluring light um, of love and a safe space where people can have fun and get away from life for, for a bit um, and feel welcomed here. So that is what I'm. Um, they're asking me to do is to brighten the allure of your game room um, so that it can be found by those who are longing for that type of energy in their life, that type of space. And you're going to find that by doing this, planting the right seeds of positive energy, really reflective of your own, um, you're going to get more people in there. It's going to feel more wonderful than it's ever felt. <laughs> so, but I, I, there is this feeling of uh, making changes, but like physical ones, like renovations, um, like it's a brand spanking new place. I, it, that that comes to me like actual hearing hammers and nails and wood um, and reconstructing. It feels like a brand new place. It like, um, I don't know, going from a Super 8 to the Ritz Hotel or something like it feels like a transformation um, that is going to be really wow. Like, wow, what a fun place to go. Um, what a fun game room. What I feel fancy here or I feel uh, like 
I feel a specialness here and I feel like I matter here, you know? So there's something quite um, bright and sparkling that I'm seeing here as well. Um, renovations, um, that's the sound I'm getting, like the sound of um, construction. Um, and then this glitz and glamour, like Super 8 Motel to the Ritz. So like, there's like this huge shift in um, the experience that you are presenting. And uh, you don't want those people to come back. <laughs> They're showing me this. Okay. Okay. There's still some... Um, there's something grimy about, I don't know, some type of flooring feels grimy, like um, carpet that has had a pop spilt on it too many times, and it's just like thin carpet. Um, they sh it, it looks to me like really thin green, like um, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, it's just really basic, really, really basic, and it's just like had too many spills on it. Um, they show me that this uh, flooring is being um, replaced and but it feels grimy there's something that feels grimy though let me just keep following that because they, they're like showing me it's being pulled up it's being pulled up like it's being um replaced but it doesn't get fully they don't show me that it's being fully replaced yet they just show me it's being pulled up and then allowing me to feel out this grimy sensation they're really um don't hold back on making it nice. Don't hold back. It's not pushing people away. It's actually reorganizing the people who are going to be at your game room. So it's shifting the energies, which is pushing people out and bringing people in. It takes time for people to hear the alarm clock go off inside themselves or to be guided to. Um, there's this, a, a sort of like a timing um, aspect of this, I don't feel, I feel like that you're going to be just fine business wise. Um, they're just, there's just this sort of, um, shift in the energy and you got to allow that to be processed, digested, and then expressed, um, in all those ways. Okay. So let me get back to this grimy floor. Hmm. There's somebody under this. It's like a little plankton, like literally from SpongeBob. And plankton is, um, he's always up to something, right? He's trying to steal the Krabby Patty recipe. And so he's kind of, um, he wants to make money off the Krabby Patty recipe and steal all Mr. Krabs' business. So there's this little plankton beneath the floor here, okay? He's hiding and uh, he doesn't have good intentions. He is the total opposite of what you are wanting to create. And he is grimy. But he's uh, kind of like he's small. And I don't know if that means like this person. This is a real person. Um, I don't know if they're actually a small person or if they're just really good at hiding kind of thing. Um, they're like trying to be like a plankton personality. They're wanting to take something away from you in order to bring that success into themselves. And that's selfish, right? And you're not selfish. You're not planting any planktons and trying to steal things from other people. All right, so I see that beneath the floor, it's getting, there's a rot that you're not aware of. <sighs> And it's still there, like, um, it's like time um, is passing and this plankton is like, Whoa, I'm still here. <laughs> and there's this rot that's developing, still under the floor. By the way, this uh, can't stay. This will be exposed. The reason why is because of the positive shifts, the positive choices. Positive energy will eventually um, reveal it will, it has the power to expose anything that is not of the positive energy. It has to be exposed because there's a clash of energies. So the manipulator, for instance, can't be manipulative or hide because the positive energy is all about honesty and authenticity. So it will expose this. And it already is trying to expose this. That's why I'm finding this. And that's why you may be guided to this session. You just want you want to um, call people back. But really, you need to know this stuff, okay? P 
positive energy is on your side. You've got to believe in the angels, okay? You've got to believe in the angels and the love that is with you. You have to. Um, this one is a bit of a rat. Like, um, cause I, I see this sort of rat now, um, walking along this sort of scurrying along these like rotted out boards. And it's sort of still hiding, so it's not really seen. You're not able to see it. It's like, um, you wouldn't, you're not gonna be able to see this one. It, it, it would be very hard to see who this is. It would be hard to know or to see who this is. <sighs> This could be potentially another game room owner and you would have no idea. Um, so this rat is scurrying up the side um, behind the walls. All right, the rat is behind the walls, under the floor, in places where you can't see it or can't get to it. You would have no idea. They keep showing me this is you have no idea about any of this. You can't see it. So I'm <laughs> literally I'm watching this whole thing taking place. And... Uh, I just tell the rat that I see you. <laughs> the rat ignores me. It doesn't feel like I have any power. <sighs> Has to do with the... F it, it, does it know who I am? Like, does it know me? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but it, it said something to me like, um, I'm physical. You're not. That's basically what it said. I can destroy things. You can't. That's what it says. I, I um, do what it doesn't expect. Love, right? Love. The angels are powerful. And I take my hand of love <laughs> and I put it into this rat's heart and I put it into this rat's mind. Just a minute. There's a, there's a big shift happening here. Um, this is very disorienting here. It doesn't, it's not, it can't go anywhere. Even if it were to go somewhere, it's not going to get away from my hands. So, it's uh, processing this. I'm basically showing it memories from within itself of times when it was treated the way that is wanting to treat others and how did that make you feel i'm i'm allowing it to feel sad um and it's not because i'm making it feel sad i'm making it remember what it's like and that this isn't fair and you wouldn't want somebody to do this to you so why are you doing it to somebody else? You're not actually a rat. You're just a very sad person. A very, very sad person. This rat is uh, quite defenseless now, and it shows me that if it can't do it, it'll find somebody else who can. Just a minute. It, uh, it is a bit of a scoundrel, and it would go to um, pretty dark, like dark alleyways in order to find somebody who could get the job done. And it, it has to do with kind of, um, I, don't, I don't know <clears throat> what, it, what it expects to accomplish. It's not, I don't feel like it's going to harm anybody, like, like come in with a gun kind of thing. Like, but it, it wants to dismantle your business kind of thing. It wants to plant a seed that is going to create a problem for your business. Um, not by hurting anybody, not by like, um, like I'm, I'm telling you, I just telling you this cause it's not on the extreme that somebody's going to like, there's nobody going to get hurt here. Um, not physically hurt. It's going to be kind of, it's trying to destroy your business in a, in a way that is not, um, it's uh, it's malicious. It's manipulative. It's um, rotten. It's foul. It's it's a rat. You, I really feel strongly that you don't know who this is, but this is a person. 
that they're showing me that this So the rat is um, still experiencing this love that I'm sharing with the heart and the mind. It's more than just showing it what it's like to be hurt, to do what you're doing to one now being done to yourself. And how does that make you feel? I'm really giving it access to its feelings. It's almost like um, it doesn't want to feel anymore. It just wants to be angry. And when it stops choosing to feel hurt inside, it just chooses to be angry and kind of malicious. It loses its like spirit, you know. So it's helping it to access its spirit again. And really, these are just all threats. These are all just words. Like, um, it's trying really hard to create a scare tactic. Like, well, if I can't do it, I'll find somebody else who can. It's just all empty words. I mean, this rat is actually breaking down here with love. And um, it's sort of turning into, it's like skin is falling off. It's like a skinned rat. And it's um, like, I can see it's like, it's like um, skin. Like it doesn't have the fur is what I mean. Like it's the fur is gone. So it's exposed. Okay. It's completely exposed. There's not even fur on it anymore. And I see it just sort of still hiding, but it doesn't, it, it's, uh, it's getting more and more exhausted. It doesn't have a lot of place here anymore. And I'm starting to see that kind of dissolving, energetically dissolving. That was really, really important. <sighs> It's still trying to tell me, um, yeah, you can get rid of me now, but there'll be others. I mean, it's, again, trying to create threats in order to um, have some power, but it really is just in more empty words. This energy is almost completely removed. <sighs> there could be a... Um, like I just hear a lot of screaming voices and people in a panic or in a hurry to get out of a place. Um, people feeling uncomfortable or uncertain of the safety of this place. Um, let me clear that out of here too. I mean, it's as loud as popping balloons. Like, it's like suddenly popping balloons. Um, and people are in a bit of a panic. But I don't hear, it doesn't feel like, um, like bullets or anything. It doesn't feel that way at all. It just, it's a sudden scare and people are uncertain if it's safe and there's a bit of a panic in trying to get out. Sound. But that's in the air here, okay? So I'm going to dissolve that too. <sighs> Why is your, is your, is your game room being seen by those who it's like you're the Jesus that they can't welcome into their heart. So they despise your love kind of thing. <laughs> so it's like your game room is the light um, that inspires them to heal inside themselves. But really, they just despise that love. So in a way, it's almost like you could be attracting. Um, it's like you could be ringing bells because your game room has got energy to it. Um, so those people could be threatened because it is so loving and they don't feel the love inside themselves. So if they get rid of you, then the light goes out and they can stay in their dark hole. But really, you're bringing angelic energy into this um, arena, all right? You're bringing angelic energy into an arena that would be defined as kind of um, the back alley fun, you know? Um, not... Um, a good habit, um, but you're bringing angelic energy into this sector, okay? Um, that at panic energy is all subsiding um, again. So really what we need to do is heal the other game rooms, to be honest. Um, like, maybe healing those other game rooms might be what you need. <laughs> Not, uh, there's something about this here.
Let me see if that let me see if that makes sense. I'm just gonna hang in here for just another minute or two. They say something else. Um it's about partnerships and supporting other game rooms. It's not like um, you keep to yourself and you're just this game room. Like It's like getting to know the other game rooms um, in a loving, supportive way. Um, I just see that, all right, as an option. You can decide what you, how you feel about that. Um, but not making, not like um, throwing salt into their insecurities as you get brighter and you welcome, you know, create a, like a much more beautiful place or something. Um, you, it's like you welcome them to heal too or something. I, I, I'm not sure. There's just some sort of, um, a really positive and loving collaboration and it creates a, a domino effect of love and healing. It can. Depends if they if they will allow it to or not. But it's worth a try, right? Let's see. I feel um, another thing coming to me is that that this isn't going to be the last rat. Okay, this may be something you just have to put up with. Um, over the time that you're doing this work because it, because of the arena you're in. There's some um, people who don't want to hear and feel love. They want to encourage more of the dark energies. And they're going to want to snuff your light out too because it reminds them of their own snuffed out light. You see? So you may... It may be just something you always kind of have to deal with. But again, they show me the potential here and the angelic energies that you're emitting and the way that you are bringing love and source energy into an arena that's starving for it. They're also reminding um, to just let this... Um, it's like a cycle. It's like a circulation taking place here. Um, so out with the old and with the new kind of thing, just let it take, let it do it in its own time. Just tell the universe that I'm noticing this is taking place. I'm going to trust in the process. I'm going to keep following my heart. Um, I have been feeling like I need to do this or that, or I want to, um, you know, try like not just renovations, but maybe just new tactics with them um, making it cozier. I don't know. Um, I mean, there's always different ways you can make a place feel cozy, not just like um, new carpet. Like it could be like like wall decorations and things like this. Um, but just follow your heart with it and tell the universe it, 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 you're always going to be taken care of, okay? I feel strongly about that. Okay, <laughs> that's all I can share. This was really, really interesting. Thank you so much for this experience. I really enjoyed it. I'm just kind of still like reminiscing on everything. <sighs> okay. Thank you very much. This was neat. Thank you for sharing. And uh, um, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great day.